One of the most, uh, let's say, the most relevant um, takeaway messages that um, uh, I got from uh, this event is the importance of uh, having a vision uh, for our for a new uh, food, European food system, and a vision that is, uh, is based on a different conception, a different valuation of food. Food uh, so far is just perceived as a commodity. In the, even in the current, uh, in the current uh, document prepared by the new commission from farm to fork, uh, and we, I think that we need to have a different valuation of food, uh, food as a human right, food as a public good, and food as a commons. And by shifting the, the way that we value food, we can unlock uh, uh, unpermitted uh, food policies. We can uh, uh, release uh, additional funds, and we can uh, modify the, the current regulation. Because it's essential that uh, we need, it's essential to have a vision. And uh, this idea of uh, vision based on uh, value-based narratives is one of the most important messages that we have discussed today. And in order to arrive to that vision, we need to have a European Food Council, a, Euro a very embracing and uh, inclusive uh, uh, forum, forum where different actors that are relevant in the food system uh, all over Europe can have a say, in, can participate, and can give their, their own approach on how the, this broken food system that we have in Europe can transit towards a fairer and more sustainable one. So a European Food Council where uh, a, a new vision, a different vision, a, a vision that is based on, on different values and different conception of food as a human right, as a public good and commons can be debated. And later on, once we have an agreed vision, uh, an agreed vision for uh, the, the European food system, later on we can already devise a specific food policies and a specific uh, uh, food policy regulation.